11 years later, officials are still working to clean up the aftermath of Tropical Storm Irene. The Capital Region Land Bank has reached an agreement to demolish a vacant blighted zombie property in Rotterdam Junction along the busy Route 5S. News 10's ABC's uh, Jen Selick has a story. Overgrown weeds, broken boarded windows, and the siding pretty much completely off. You're looking at an eyesore that's soon to be torn down. Going back 11 years ago, this is what the area looked like when Tropical Storm Irene came in, flooding many of these Rotterdam Junction homes. And this house has been deteriorating ever since. Foundation uh, has failed. The property has just way too much remediation, and it's just not worth the investment. Chairman Richard Ruzzo with the Capital Region Land Bank says his team asked the last three owners of this property to clean up the site before the most recent owner handed over the deed so that bulldozers can soon come in and knock the property down. You know, our first goal is to always restore, rehabilitate, revitalize. This one needs to be demoed. It's been a pain in the neck for quite a while, that house. Dave Arlogio says the weeds are only growing higher. He has to pass this eyesore every day to head home. But he's thrilled to hear the news that the building will be coming down. It's been a having for uh, uh, feral cats, woodchucks, who knows, maybe even people. It's been a pain trying to get out of the street because of the weeds being so high, too. Dave's house was also destroyed by Tropical Storm Irene. This marking on the telephone pole shows how high the water was on his street before it receded. And he'd much rather see that small marking every day than the abandoned home up the road. It'll be good when they get rid of it. After demolition, officials and neighbors hope to soon see a flat green grass lot until someone buys the land. The demolition is expected to start within the next few weeks. In Rotterdam Junction, Jen Seelig, News 10, ABC.